What is up guys, Liam here. Welcome back to another video on Build a Ship to Survivor's Island. Today, I have this small ocean liner here that I built based off of one of my friend's designs. Um, so yeah. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not giving the name, it's because of a certain drama situation that happened where my friend had made this ship for another dude, uh, in different- in his own game, of course. And, turns out a lot of bad things came out, out about that dude, so he had to stop working for him, he had told a lot of lies and stuff, and, um, he's been- we kind of made- it kind of ruined his reputation, so he's been trying to friend us on all accounts for a while now. So, even mentioning the name on YouTube will probably get him to find my channel and start stalking me here too, and that's really uncomfortable. So, I have him blocked on, like, all of his accounts everywhere. Uh, I don't think he has YouTube, but I, if he does, you know, I know he's definitely gonna find this video still somehow. I don't know how he does it, but he does. Anyways, um, let's, uh, just get into the video and do some stuff. So we're gonna be sinking this ship, of course. But first of all, let's give the tour. Because, you know, every good ship needs a tour. So up here, uh, on A deck, we have the bridge. I'm going for a blocky design here, even though we have a round helm. So we have the helm here, the telegraphs, you have the indicators for star- for, uh, I think that's port? And I think this is starboard? I'm not sure, though. And here we have the, uh, wheelhouse. You can see a secondary helm. We have the watertight door controls, and a, a phone to call the engine room and boiler room. We have a little, like, uh, thing here. That would be the indicator for the watertight doors. Anyways, in here we have, like, I think it's the captain's room. There's, like, a little blueprint here and a bed. Uh, weirdest part is that I don't know how well these interiors are, considering the ship was never finished. My friend, of course, never finished it because we found out all those, uh, things that happened about the other dude. Anyways, here we have the Marconi room. Uh, moving back, we have the lifeboats, which are fairly decent. And, um, yeah, I guess. We have the, uh, davits, of course, which would swing out. Here we have the staircase, which we'll get back to. It's a grand staircase design, although it's not perfect. Here we have a bunch of rooms, like this. Uh, you can see they'd have chests back here, to, or, like, storage lockers and stuff. Here we have some little things to lay down on. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. I forgot what those are called. I think those are called, like, tanning chairs. I don't know. Anyways, also up here we have some collapsible lifeboats, some vents, some other vents. Um, among, uh, anyways, we got, uh, we got the funnel here with, like, a little, uh, ladder to go up here. And you can see it down into it. It's pretty cool. And then we have the flags, of course, like the, uh, Scottish and English flag. Uh, I think on the original model it was supposed to be Italy up here, but, you know, I changed it just... You know, just to hide. <laughs> I mean, I, of course, I'm saying this now, and this is going to be public, so it's not like uh, that's going to happen. Anyways, let's go to the bow here. Um, here we have the uh, anchor up here, which is like the uh, auxiliary anchor, and we have the two separate anchors back here. You can see, I need to add the chains here, because this ship isn't done. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing this while it isn't done. I should probably be working on this right now, but, you know. We also have this down here, which is to indicate, like, the levels of... Uh, water. I think it's like feet or inches, maybe. Anyways, we also have the hoop here that the auxiliary anchor swings into. Got the the uh, what's that? The boom for the uh, auxiliary anchor. A lot of stuff for that. Uh, these things, I'm not sure what they are, leading up to the mast. And then these uh, these cargo holds. Uh, I asked my friends since they actually go nowhere on the real ship. I asked them what they were for since they make no sense, and he said uh, they're for small luggage. And I'm like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, moving on, we have this promenade here, and this promenade here, which they kind of dead end. Or, this one doesn't, but the other one kind of does. Uh, and we can go in here, and you see we have a lovely little dining room in here, and there's some curtains and stuff, and glass and all that, and it's very nice, and there's a bit of Z fighting there, I might have to fix that. Um, I'll do that later, though. And, uh, yeah, you can see it dead ends here. Uh, this isn't entirely furnished out, as there should be some flowers and some, like, uh, ta white tabletops on top of it. Uh, but, you know, it's good enough. Here we have the purser's office, which is decent. We have the staircase again. Uh, these are the gangway doors, which are, I mean, they're alright. I didn't do a terrific job with this. 
We also have some chairs in here and another uh, dining room. Oh yes, that is the name of the person who is banned. Uh, JP. Uh, I won't elaborate on his name because I, I, I still know he's going to find this somehow, so it doesn't matter what I say about him. Uh, all I'm going to say is that if you do find this video, if you know who you are, get out. I don't care. I'm not talking to you. Um, anyways, we have this like sleek design for the promenade here, um, which opens up into here. And we have another cargo hatch here. We got these things, uh, I think they're from mooring lines, and some benches. Of course, we have some fences along here, and then we have this would say it's double screwed, as you can see. Um, we got these propellers. I think it did a decent job curving the blades like that. And the rudder. Of course, the English flag back here. Uh, the cargo hold, I already said that, but uh, we also have this here, which is a dead end. It's more for just going in there to chill out. I guess. Anyways, of course, we have to move down another floor, so I went the wrong one again. Oh, I'm not too bright. Moving down another floor, we have this area, which is... This area is the one area that I have not finished, so you're gonna see a lot of unfinished stuff here. We have some furniture back here, though. Um, trying to keep this rather quick. We have this hallway here, which I need to add some portholes for. It's on both sides. And there are some watertight doors here. I have them al already in the closed position, but, you know, you can just walk through them. I'd have to group them to shut the watertight doors. We also have this one here, which is more of like a vault kind of door. There would be a little turn knob there. This would also be where the, some cabins are, but, you know, I haven't finished it, of course. Moving down, you would have to... Uh, there's a watertight door here, which would be a side-sliding one, of course, like the other ones. We have the phone here. Lord, this is a mouthful. Um... We have some coal here and here. Um, the boilers, which are, you know, decent. And, uh, funny story, I actually worked as the chief engineer on that ship when I was doing that ocean liner roleplay stuff. It was pretty weird. That was like a year ago at this point. Uh, it took me a while to realize that the boilers were double-sided. So, um, yeah. That's kind of funny. Also, this was custom added. Uh, this isn't on the real ship, but this is an axis hatch. I added, and you can go into the lower sections of the hull. Unfortunately, it stops here because this is a huge block to make sure the ship doesn't capsize. Uh, just physics-based stuff. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I, you know, it works. Anyways, moving to the other side, this would be the third-class cabins, and the other side would be second-class. Um, but moving back here, we have another one of those turn doors and another watertight door to the engine room, which my engines aren't perfect, but you know. Uh, again, an access hatch, but I had to close it up due to the fact that the stern is way too heavy, so I had to add more wooden blocks back there. We have the telegraphs here, the engines, which, you know, they're, they're engines, I guess. And uh, a valve here, of course, to turn the steam and stuff, and, you know, you can go up here and look at it. I, I guess it's decent. So yeah, that is pretty much the tour of the ship. Um, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna put it on the water now. Uh... Let's let's launch it. Uh, we're not going to click launch because that activates a current, um, which will keep it pushing forward. So I'm going to unanchor it. And ooh, that FPS drop. Ooh. Now it doesn't float entirely well, but you know, good, good, good enough. And see, this is what I was talking about. I need to add more of those blocks back in the stern because, uh, yeah, they didn't quite do a good job. But you know, good, good enough. You know, yeah, it's sort of there. Uh, uh, good enough, that's what I say a lot on my channel. Anyways, um, let's, uh, sink this baby. So, um, now this doesn't have any balancer. I could get the balancer tool in the, uh, VIP menu. There's a gyroscript slash balancer tool. Although, uh, I used to have to use it, but now with that new block un underwater, um, or the new block in the keel, it floats way better now, but let's start sinking this baby. I'm sure this will do a number. Small number. I mean, technically, if, if you count 0 0.000001 as a number, then it didn't number. Oh, concrete. No. Not concrete. Ew. Corroded metal looks better. There we go. Now you can see it's starting to dip down. I think that might make it list a little. Ooh, yeah. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's going all the way. Uh, we might want to put a bit of weight in the stern so it doesn't go like 1997 Titanic style. The movie, not the the actual event. 
Okay, that might have been a bit too much. We might we might have just made a go Isle de France style. Um All right, that'll that'll make it go Oh, oh here we go. It's it's actually going kind of accurate to how it sank when we did those ship role plays back in back last year. It's been nearly a year. Um well uh, there goes the ship, I guess. This was, wasn't very uh, really a long video, but you know, it, it's a thing. Guess we can uh, we can cut that power out. Remember, one thing we always did is that we wouldn't really make. I think we made the funnels fall, but um, we would also make the mast fall because of how thin they were on the original model. But yeah. Also, one thing is that um, one of the things me and my friend constantly joke about is how, how the uh, that bad owner. Um, constantly couldn't make up his mind if he wanted one or two funnels on his ship. And the reason it's so small as an ocean liner um, is because it was going to be a paddle steamer. But when the keel was finished, the dude said, nah, make it an ocean liner. And we were just so... we He was so confused. I heard the story, I was confused. It was insane. Honestly, it feels like a fairy tale, and I wish it was. Alright, time to to activate the final plunge. Woo! There goes those propellers and the rudder. I tried my best to replicate the rudder shape, but eh. I did I did as best as I could. And there you can see it's going down. Down to the bottom. Wee! There isn't much more I can do here. This, this is a very short video. I'll upload it still, but, yeah. Still very short. Come on, faster, faster, faster. And the propellers are underwater again. Yeah, again it went like 1997 Titanic movie. And... There it goes. So I guess that's, uh, the Marlin. Oh, I said its name. Oh, you know what? There you go, Marlin. I still won't put it in the title. For consistency. Um... You know... Uh, been uncomfortable to think about that situation. It's been nearly a year, which is really insane to think about that it's been nearly a year since that situation happened. Also, it's been over a year since I started uploading on this channel again, which is kind of weird to think about as well. Alright, let's, uh, let's make it look rusted. Oh, it hit the bottom! Wait, we can make this look, uh... There we go. There we go. I don't think fogging will work, but you know, it's a thought that counts. Ooh, creepy. This actually feels kind of creepy. Feels like I'm discovering an old shipwreck, although it's, you know, kind of upright. Anyways, I guess that's, uh, that's the ship sank. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ship sank. Thing. Anyways, a bit of an update. I still gotta upload that AK video as of the time I'm speaking, which you guys will definitely see once this video is out. It will be not long after that it should be uploading. Um, and I'm also, uh, another update, I am working on a new gun right now, uh, after the AK. Uh, it is the Pancor Jackhammer, so you guys will see how that comes out. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't been coming out very well. I keep running out of parts and it's very flimsy. It's such a weird design. But anyways, uh, I guess we'll wait for this to land and then I'll end the video. So, oh, there it goes downwards. Kind of feels like a Titanic-inspired design. Like, really making this, I was like, yeah, this feels like Titanic. This definitely feels like a miniature version of Titanic. Which I guess is something my friend who made this did. Uh, well, you can see it starting to bottom out. Almost reminds me of a uh, tender. That's what uh, when I was giving, when I was showing this to some of the people uh, who are in that community that uh, works on ships in this game, the Bassy community. A lot of people assumed it was a tender, and I had to tell them it was an ocean liner because it just looks like it looks like a tender. And that's it. Bottomed out. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I might do more of these depending on how this comes out. And um, I will see you guys uh, in the next video where I will most likely have an AK out next video. Anyways, peace.